August the 8th, uh, we've started collecting uh, new hatching eggs from our uh, existing uh, flock of Caternix uh, um, quail. And uh, we started collecting on August the 2nd here and just been uh, picking out eggs. We get approximately four eggs a day, but not all of them um, uh, are ideal looking for hatching. So we've just been selecting out which ones we like. And now we're up to a dozen, and I think we're, going, we're ready to go ahead and use our new incubator. Uh, since our last, uh, our first uh, hatch where we did our homemade incubator, we decided we were going to get serious about um, hatching out quail and, and raising them, of course. So we went ahead and bought the um, Genoel 12 incubator. That seems to be pretty popular and uh, works pretty well as an automatic egg turner. And so we're going to use that to hatch this batch of eggs. We're excited. All right, so this is our Genoel 12 uh, incubator. It's a pretty popular one. I've seen a lot of uh, other people use it successfully to hatch out uh, quail eggs. You can also hatch out um, chicken eggs and things like that. Uh, right now it's set at 37.5 degrees Celsius. We've been running it for 20, 24 hours. You can hear our male uh, quail there. For 24 hours, um, just to make sure that it holds temperature, we do have a thermometer inside. Um, For double checking. Yeah, an analog thermometer Intake. inside. Intake. And so 37.5 degrees Celsius is equal to 99.5 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. All right. We did fill it up with 100 milliliters of water before starting it up to give it the necessary humidity. And now we're going to start uh, loading, eggs in. loading our quail eggs in. So, um, we can you help me? Ones that are female. Yeah. Can, you, can you help me lift the lift the lid up? Okay, and just set the lid on the ground there. All right, guys. Take your turns and set them in. You want to set them in sideways. There you go. Like this? Mm -hmm. Maybe not that one. Maybe or oh, starting over here. What's here? Yeah. Let's see. Nice Sorry. and gentle. You want to turn just like this, because this thing is going to slide back and forth, and as it as it slides back and forth, it's going to automatically turn the eggs. Wait, so it's so this trembles itself? Yeah, we can put just we only have twelve eggs, so we can put three in each, and that should be fine. All right, that's good. So this tray will slide back and forth, and as it slides back and forth, you see it's turning the eggs. There's a little metal pin that's attached to the, uh, on the underside of the, uh, right there, yeah, at the top of the uh, incubator. All right, can you so help me? So it'll auto move without us? Yep. So we're going to go ahead and set the lid on here. So right now it's blinking low, uh, but that's just meaning that the temperature is a little low because we had the lid off, and then it's going to quickly come back up to temp. We're going to put this so again, this, this is a fast incubator. Yeah. So again, this is August the eighth. So we're going to do this first stage of uh, incubation for 14 days, and then on day uh, 15 we will take the eggs out of the. Uh, black tray and we'll set them on the base of the incubator and go into lockdown. So we'll see you back in a few days. Alright, this is another view of the uh, Genoa 12 incubator from the uh, side. Uh, we already loaded the eggs in, but I just wanted to show that metal pin that needs to go down in the slot of the black tray. and. There's a mechanism on top that basically uh, causes that pin to move around and as it moves around uh, essentially causes the uh, tray to move back and forth on this rail here. Um, and then uh, we do have our analog thermometer inside uh, to keep track of the temperature. It's finally lockdown day for our uh, 
first batch of eggs that we got from our own birds. This is our own mean, uh, well, we bought it. Yeah, well, we already seen it from the last video, so go ahead and we'll lift this Wait thing up. up and put it on the side. We'll go ahead and lay it on the side. Not okay. too, not too, just say, okay. Now, let's take out the thermometer. Okay, go ahead and set it over there. The eggs are... Because we have to take out this black egg turner tray. We don't need it anymore. Very carefully. There you go. Good job. I'm putting the ones inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, take the egg tray, egg turner tray, and just set it on the ground there. Now, can you take the plastic tray, the one plastic tray on top here? Take that one out. Uh -huh. We don't need that one anymore. Okay. We do need the bottom one. Okay. Now, go ahead and lay the eggs back in. There we go. Be careful, so be careful, be careful. careful. Don't let them move around too much. Be careful, be careful, please. Eggs may, ha um, may accidentally hatch. Alright. Now, 